Minions has spawned. Alrighty, folks. Today, we're going to be playing a Nibbly game for the How to Smurf series. Um, can we play Nidley vs Wukong? Not an ideal Nidley comp at all, but it will be good to show you guys how you can still get leads in bad team comps. Got an early ward out on the Wukong's Wibber, and that's definitely going to help a lot. I'm probably going to go for the level 2 invade on Wukong this game. Also folks, if you've been enjoying the content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about decisions I make this game, or actions that I take, just leave a comment with the timestamp, and I will get back to you with an answer about that. I'm gonna sweep on the way here. Not gonna use my second W. Crap on the way out. Smited right, the buff. Just punishing him here, doesn't matter too much. Okay, so the Wukong is still here. So I'm just gonna keep on hitting him and push him off camps. I basically want to fuck around with him as much as possible here, but I don't want to try and do the camp because I'm not going to be able to get the camp. I don't have smite and he does. Got a nice gank here. Just going to chunk this guy. Now my Yas did not move up at all during the actual fight, but I think he's going to after. Is an insane spear. And you'll see there I use the auto attack W trick so that I get my W reset. And yes, I would like me to shove the wave, but it's actually much more important for me to go and counter jungle this red buff here. Now, most times I would help my laner, but I really do want to get this red buff and deny it from the enemy jungler. I'm gonna put the trap out. Alright, awesome. You can see the loop coming there. Now I'm going to go mid here and help the ass. Excellent. Alright, so this is a really good game so far. Very high tempo. See the Wukongs here. Alright, I scrapped another kill there. I really fucked up my combo there, but we still got the kills. That's all that matters at the end of the day. But yeah, I wanted to uh, EQ W there. Now I'm going to skip the Scuttle Crab as you guys noticed, because it's not really worth that much and I want to get my camps done. My camps are worth a lot more in gold and XP value at this point in time, and I want to get them reset so that I can start um, getting them to level up. Oh, that was really bad W there. Game is going super well right now. We have created a sh like metric shit ton of chaos, and we've really capitalized on it this game. Rampage. Gonna ping Wukong. We see him bot, and right now this game is like basically over from a jungler's perspective. We have created a huge lead. Two level lead, level five to level three is very very massive, and there's not really a lot of ways for Wukong to get back into the game because he doesn't really have many camps to kill. So right now I'm going to kill my two bot side camps, and then I'm going to cross straight over to his chickens, which is his next camp that's spawning, and try to counter jungle him on that chicken's camp also. Which only leaves him to be able to get Scuttle Crab right now. And I'm okay for him to get topside Scuttle Crab and bot side Scuttle Crab, because again, they're both level 1 Scuttles, and level 1 Scuttles are just not worth that much anymore, folks. Alright, so I'm going to be level 6 to Wukong's level 3. An enemy has 
It's okay, well yes, to grab that kill, I really don't mind. Wukong is gonna be around about his chickens or moving to his crugs. Okay, he's moving to his blue actually. Now, I'm just gonna walk through the turret here because I can. There's literally nothing that's stopping me, and so I'll just continue chasing this Wukong down. Okay, nice. I spotted him where he's going, so I'm gonna chuck the spear. Okay, unfortunate that I missed. Get the W range. Excellent. Now here, I'm not gonna do the blue buff in case someone invades. I'm just gonna start with the Gromp. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna try and save this cast for him. Look at that, he really can. Amazing misplays there. Chisana should have definitely flash autoed him one more time to get her bomb off and then she could have uh, killed him there. He should have had another W proc. Anyway, I made a mistake there. I didn't uh, play it well after I got the flash over the wall. Wukong also flashed. Now, if Wukong is bad, he's going to do his wolves here. And the reason that's bad and makes him bad is because I'm going to run straight to his red right now. If he does his wolves, I get to his red at the same time as he does and I kill him again. Now if he's smart, he's going to go to his red and take his red and Krugs, and that should give him level 6. And, I mean, I can still kill him on his red, even if he runs straight there, probably, because he's not going to be able to clear fast enough, but, you know, at least there's like a chance for him to do that. Okay, so it looks like he might have actually... Oh. guys, I was, uh, that was a bit of a fucking final fiesta by me. I'm actually really surprised how Yas died there too. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna pick up this GP kill. Yeah, so he gets back to lane. Slug him with the red buffs. Pick up the Dark Harvest broke. Now here, I'm probably just going to uh, do the Scuttle Crab in a base. Wow, that's still level 1 Scuttle Crab. Fuck. I was hoping that was not level 1 Scuttle Crab, because it'd be worth a lot more. But anyway, it is. Now, right now, Wukong is going to be down bot side on his two bot side camps, so I'm not really going to be there to invade him on time, so I'm going to do my two top side camps instead. We actually see Wukong is down here clearing vision on the drag. I think it'd be a large mistake for him to try and do drag right now. I don't even care if he does it, to be honest. It's, uh, it just takes that long, and he's not going to be able to get any tempo there, and I'm just going to continue to build my CS lead. Okay, looks like he's going to gank mid. I'm going to just jump through here and pick up the uh, golden XP quickly. Now 
back here, I'm gonna go mid lane and then probably to um, Wukong's chicken camp. Got the red buff slow on him here. Nice, picking up the Wukong kill. And the um the Jais that we picked up earlier off that cheeky recall is kinda of paying off right now. I'm gonna kill this top lane up too on the wave. Okay, didn't quite play that perfectly, but pretty good in the end. This guy should just keep pushing, I think, and should definitely get the plates. Yeah, folks, this is how you can uh, take over games on Nidalee and Lilo. I would expect them for FF15 here. Be pretty surprised if they do not. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to bot side camps here, so I'm going to just go back upside and take the Krugs. That way, I'm still punishing the Wood Dunk. Holy moly, he's here. I don't know which one's the real one. I needed to flash that fucking poppy E. Maybe flashing here was the play. Damn. Um played that better, unfortunately. Gonna pick up the Sonyas, I think, this game. An enemy has been slain. Now when I spawn, Wukong's only camps. Pardon me, a bot lane, so I'm gonna run straight bot lane and look to counter one of those camps. And a big mistake that I made this game was not dropping Herald. So it's gonna be 14 minutes, and I've not dropped Herald, I'm not gonna get any plates for it. If I had dropped Herald top, I would've got the plates, it would've been a lot better. So that was a really, really big mistake. Since my whole team is here, I feel as though we should uh, look for this drag. Can kill this guy? Okay, he's uh, blown out. I'm gonna get him. Down here and uh, pay Stewie Griffin a little visit. It's fast. No point me hitting a tower, Harold's gonna kill it. He's gonna start pushing the next wave. Now Wukong has picked up his red already, so I can't look to invade that. So right now I just pick up this wave here. Flash, I don't have any way to outplay the Poppy. Flashy. That really is sad.
Oh, we've got Brian Griffin and Stewie Griffin in the boss lane. A little duo queue action, I didn't notice that. That's cute. Very, very cute. With the ardent sense of first item. Alrighty. Box went. Gronk, pardon me, gonna run to my bot camps here and uh, after that, probably look for the next Herald as soon as it spawns and then we can end the game there. If the enemy team doesn't FF sooner. Uh, kind of of the hopes that they FF. I think this one's pretty over for them. Fucked up my W combo then. Nidalee is a champion that I'm still practicing. I do need to get better at her mechanically, uh, especially with like QW combos and things like that. I should have went for the Soraka. It's further away from Poppy. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't see that play actually. So I kind of, in my mind, I already knew like the Poppy risk. So yeah, what I definitely should have done there is gone for the Soraka leap and then I could have killed all three, I think. Yeah, let's go do this Rift Herald. All my demons to start this so that we uh, definitely don't miss it. But I'm not 100% sure if you will. Can you get there in time to start up? Hit it bro, holy shit with these spawns. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in time. They keep flash there on Soraka. If Poppy had his W up. Oh, whatever. Doesn't look like we're gonna end here, unfortunately. Ah, oh, 
That's okay. And I'm dying so many times this game. Really, I just want this game to end already, but it's getting drawn out it's longer and longer. Base is open right now. Quick to Baron and end. So beyond it. Sure. What's going on there? Damn, that was uh close, closer than it needed to be, for sure. Nice, right, this poppy's dead. Let's go to the top wave, bearing those creeps up. You guys have that Sonic loser for me. Like it's uh, affecting my day. What an elite epic troll by Tristana. Anyway folks, that's it for today. If you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, take care.